You got time for a beer? Welcome to my show. I'm Jake. Um, this is, you got time for a beer. It's not Thursday, which is fine. Um, my beer today is uh, the Blueberry Lemon Lime Squatch from Loggers Brewing Company. Uh, it's just on the road here in Shields. Uh, that's Saginaw, for those of you wondering about that. It says it's 5%. Um, born on of... Uh, September 16th of 21. Anything else in here? Uh, it's got an address, South River Road, Shields. Uh, government warning. Uh, independent craft brewers. Yeah, cool. Uh, I got a glass, I got a shirt. I mean, I paid for all this stuff, so I figure it's cool that I'm showing you all. Uh, it's a squash, and it says it's got a bunch of fruit in it, so my guess is that it's fruity. Actually, I don't know what a squash means. My guess is that it's going to be kind of murky and a little sour, because, you know, fruit everywhere. And they told me to keep it upside down until I'm ready to drink it. So it's probably going to be turbid. Which means it's got, like... It's murky, you know, like you're not going to be able to see through it, really. I'm going to pour as much into this as I can and then leave the rest because there's sediment in it. I can feel it already. You can see it, actually, because it started out really super clear. And uh, now it's not. Probably got about this much left in the bottom, which is fine with me because sediment's not my favorite. If I don't have, a, have to have a mouthful of yeast, I'm not going to do it. Um, looks pretty good. It smells sour. I got a feeling this is going to be super, um, super farmhouse ale kind of stuff. Get a little bit of the blueberry. There's a lot of lemon lime flavor in it. A lot of lime, actually. Um, if you like sours, it's pretty good. Um, a little bit of wheat, I think. That's what that is. Every once in a while, wheat will throw off a blueberry flavor to it um, when you're making beer with it. So it could be that, too. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's it or not. My guess is that it's just it's got blueberry in it. I mean, it says right there that it's got blueberries and limes and lemons in it. So... It's probably blueberries. Uh, what else is interesting about this? I don't know. It says it's 5%. This feels... It tastes heavier than 5%. Like, there's more alcohol to it than the 5% that it says there. I'm not sure. It's a possibility. I really don't think so, though. Um, is there another beer that this reminds me of? Uh, I one time made a, uh, a beer that was supposed to be like a Mexican ale and was just supposed to be spicy. But I ended up putting key limes in it, and this reminds me of that. It was a terrible idea. I should not have done it. It didn't add anything really to it. It just made it taste like every other Mexican beer that you were getting at that point in time that made your poo burn in the morning. It was great to drink. After a little while, it really actually was. It was delicious. But it was also super spicy, which is kind of nice, too, because... Super spicy. And I like those kinds of things. Could have put tomatoes in it. That would have been interesting. And the key limes. So you've got the tomatoes and the key limes, and you got the, the peppers in there. I would have been making a Michelada without knowing what a Michelada was. Um, let's see what else. I, uh, I stopped by Loggers on my way home from the hospital. 
Not because I went to the hospital. I went to go see my grandpa in the hospital. Um, he was not doing well. COVID and whatnot. And he passed a couple days back. So there's a funeral this week. So I don't have anything going on. Well, I do. I've got a funeral and visitation coming up here. But other than that, I have the rest of the week off. I had my two days that I was supposed to, uh, that I was scheduled to be off, and then taking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because that's what I get. I think I might get more, but that's what I'm taking. So, that's what I got. Oh man, it's definitely sour, which that's fine. Um. Hmm. Any other stories that this reminds me of? Let's see. I went to Loggers with my father. Uh, they have a bunch of light beers, lighter beers, um, ranging from a Super Pale Pil Pilsner to an Oktoberfest. Um, no off flavors in any of their light beers, which is really nice, especially in a smaller brewery because this one is pretty small. They just started up in 2016. I'm pretty sure they're not they're not distributing far. Like right there in the tap house would be my guess, uh, but really good, worth uh, worth checking out if you get a chance over in Shields, for sure. Uh, good beers. This one's pretty okay. Well, I mean it's probably better than that, but it's not not okay. I'd probably have another one, not right away, but later. That enough beer up on the wall for a flight of lights, a flight of darks, a flight of um, of sours. So they got quite a number of beers, which is pretty awesome. It's a good thing to have for a smaller brewery. Um, they didn't really have food there. Uh, there was a food truck parked out front when I got there. I didn't have food because I was going to come home and have food. And like I said, going to see my grandpa at the hospital. So, And with COVID, it was... It was a quick decision to go because they were like, hey, we moved him out of the, the super COVID ward into a different one. You can come up and see him. Probably because they knew that he wasn't going to last long. And after seeing him, I see why they thought that. Did not look good. He did have a really, a really sweet beard going, though. Better than I've ever seen him. He always said that he couldn't grow a beard, which... Apparently was not exactly true because his beard looked a lot like mine did when I first started growing it in. Super scratchy, but there. Um, he also had problems growing it in the sides, like me, which is fine. You can still grow a beard with very little hair on the sides. Just to make sure you keep it trimmed and, and visible. And then it doesn't look stupid. Because when I let this go... It goes all sorts of curly, weird ways. So, trim it down, because then it looks nice. Oh, uh, let's see, what else do I got today? Um, got to play disc golf this afternoon, which was nice. Cleaned up, because, like I said, the funeral coming up. So, my brother-in-law and my sister are coming in from California, which is cool, with my nephew. So, we get to see them, and then they're going to come back out at Christmas time for, like, three weeks which is also awesome. Um, I do have to work during that entire time that they're here, which is kind of crappy, but it'll be nice to see them. Um, mostly just crappy because it throws off my schedule because they're going to be in my house all the time because they stay with me. Spend most of their day next door, but when they sleep, when, they're, when my nephew sleeps, he sleeps here. Well, not here. He sleeps here. Here. Um, but... That'll be a whole thing, too, later. Well, this week, even. They fly in tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. They get here. Um, but, like I said, rest of the... Well, most of the rest of the week off. So, yay? It stinks when, when people... Well, when your grandparents die, it stinks. Makes you realize that your, your parents are mortal, and that will be you sooner than what you'd like to admit. It's not cool. Another th another 30 years with my dad. That'd be great. 
Yeah, 30 years. I mean, you like to remember those that have passed in the good light all the time. And my grandpa did some great things. Knew a lot of great people. I mean, he used to talk with Bo Schembechler regularly about, about uh, athletes coming out of the Flint area. Um, and guys like down, he had, he had a, uh, an athlete go to, uh, to Iowa back in like the early sixties, late seventies, something like that. Or no, wait, early or no, late sixties, early seventies, uh, down to Iowa to play. Um, but he knew all the, all the guys that were playing around in Flint cause he's a football coach. You got to know. You got to know what's going on in the area. So, great coach, my grandpa. My brother says he was an okay math teacher, which, you know, that's cool. But a great coach. He was a pretty okay grandpa. I learned some stuff from him. One of the best shots I've ever seen. Even, even at 80, a great shot. He didn't, he didn't do much shooting after he was 90, but he'd still go out in the woods. Uh, my dad used to have a, a joke that Grandpa didn't appreciate much. Uh, but at 80, he was still climbing trees to get to his bow blind. So Dad always said, my dad always said, my dad's going to die in October. Which is really funny, because he did. But... My dad's going to die in October. We're not going to find him until the 15th of November when everybody goes up north there to, to our cabin to, uh, to, go boat, to go gun hunting because he'll have fallen out of a tree and, and died hanging from his strap and his tree blind, which, you know, is darkly funny. Grandpa didn't find it funny at all because he was the one still climbing trees at 80, um, but kind of funny. Even more funny that he really did die in October. Yeah, yeah, definitely funny that he di did die in October. All right, so I've got a quote for you. This one's from Walter Payton. Uh, good man, better football player. Even though he played for the Bears, I'm not going to hold that against him. He said, when you're good at something, you'll tell everyone. When you're great at something... They'll tell you. What you think about it. Um, don't forget, you can follow me on, like, all the things. Uh, Untap YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, all at TubaJake underscore 69. Uh, that's where, you're fo where you'll find me. Tuba, like the big instrument. Uh, that, you know, big brass instrument. And uh, Jake, like, well, like me. Uh, and the 69, like this guy down here. So, anyway, um, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you next time. If you got time for a beer.